Thank you so much for, for making us this, this interview for my video. Um, I would like to, to begin uh, for, your, for your barn. You are from uh, Bakersfield in California. And I would like to know when you, when you did start to play, to play basketball. Um, I started playing about 12 years old and then started getting serious about basketball when I was about 14, high school, freshman in high school. And um, <laughs> I started late, but I enjoyed it so much once I started playing that I didn't, I just, everything was basketball for me when I was younger. I okay. was always training or playing, so. <laughs> okay, I would like to, to ask you too about your, your family, because I have read, uh, you have a brother and a sister uh, and, and sometimes you have uh, little economic problems in, in your family. Uh, how does it affect this situation to your character? Um, you know, now it was when I was younger, I was, I guess, like everybody who's young. <laughs> and uh, now that I'm a little bit older, you know, I'm trying to reach out to my family a little bit more and um, it's not so much what happened then for me, it's more what's like how we are now. Okay. And it's still, you know, family, family is family. If you, you're going to okay. have problems, you're going to have ups and downs, but you know, I love my family. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, about your, uh, when you go to the NBA, you, you went directly from high school to the NBA. You, you don't go to the university. Why do you see you go? Directly to the MBA. Why? Why don't to to try or practice in the in the university first? Um, at the time, you know, when I was 17, 18, um, my whole goal was to reach the MBA, to play in the MBA, and I figured if I had a chance when I was 18, why not take it? You know, why why should I wait another four years before? Um, reaching my goal. Yeah, I know it's a great opportunity at the yeah. end. Yeah. Okay. Um, you were picked number 12, or 2004. Uh, how was this moment for you? You go to the high school <laughs> and suddenly you are a racing star in NBA. Uh, it was crazy. It was, um, like even, even now I can, I remember like, highlights like feelings and i remember you know david stern coming up you know seattle sonics number 12 pick and then he says my name it was just like uh <laughs> like it wasn't your flash <laughs> oh yeah it didn't it was what i was hoping for but wasn't expecting <laughs> right right uh after several years in nba uh you have uh, an injury in your knee mm -hmm. you know uh and you went to the d league and later to japanese league mm -hmm. uh that situation was a little bit uh, disappointing for you, or, or do you understand how a, a, a career, a global career? Yeah, it's um, so the preseason of my third year, the last preseason game in Seattle versus the Kings, Sacramento Kings, the day I got announced as starting center for the year, I tore my ACL. <laughs> I had to sit out the rest of the year. Okay. And then did everything I could to come back and play and just the hardest part for me was after that I didn't really have that desire that I had when I was younger to play yeah so I tried finding it in the D League um, just it wasn't a good opportunity for me there I went to Japan and absolutely loved it there yeah I know. and um, Unfortunately, the season got cut short. And then, you know, two, two and a half years ago, I came here and I love it. I yeah. found that love of the game again. I found a city that I enjoy being in and uh, have the opportunity to do what I want to do for the rest of my basketball career. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I know this is a complicated question, but, but I want to ask you if you feel comfortable. Um, from this moment, uh, began a, a little bit problems with justice, weapons, drugs. Um, 
how is possible a racing star, a, a people who has everything in, in his life, money, uh, famous, how is possible a, a person goes to this, to this way? Uh, so one of the things that I, I try to, when I talk to younger players or kids, is don't make the mistake I did. Don't make your entire life about basketball. Because I did that when I was younger. Luckily, it worked out for me at the time. But once I lost basketball, I had nothing. Yeah, you know. It's and much. so I had to go through that to find out what I truly loved, what I enjoy, what I want to achieve in my life um, to get where I'm at today. Now, I, it's not just basketball for me. It's a few few different things. Basketball is my, you know, my main love, but also now it's not my entire life. Right. Uh, and, and what was the key for, uh, for um, left this, this kind of world in the back? Uh, you supporting God in family, fa uh, uh, friends? For me, it was when I decided to get out of that, the life that was unhealthy, unsafe. Um, it was, I found, I started reading the Bible again. I started going to church again. Um, I decided what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to accomplish. And as long as I set my goals on that and my entire focus on not just basketball, but everything in my life, then it became just a, a easy decision for me. It's like, I don't want to go back to that. I'm going to stay away from it. Now I'm always moving forward. Right, right. Okay, and now, <laughs> Spain, Gijón, <laughs> is, your, is your second stage in, in Gijón. Uh, how do you feel there? Um, I love Gijón, first <laughs> off. Like, the city is amazing. The people there are amazing. Um, Uh, it's it's unlike anything I've ever been to. Uh, you know, I've been around the world, not traveled, but I've been around the world. Have you tasted cachopos and sidra and pavada? Yes, <laughs> I love it all. <laughs> okay, um, great, great. Um, and now, how, how is your life? Uh, do you have children or pets? Uh, you go for a walk. Uh, what is your your daily? Um, So right now, for me, this year is my fiance, who's from Hihon, <laughs> um, starting the life together with her. And then also, I thank Nacho Galan for the coach for Circulo, giving me another chance to come back this year and not only play for him, but do what I can to help him and work with him so that Not only is our team doing the same thing I want to do moving forward, but we can try to move basketball forward in Hihon as well. Okay, I know. Uh, we can say that everything that you lift makes you now uh, a stronger person? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, yeah, one of the most frequent questions I get is, knowing what you know now, would you go back and do anything different? And so there's a million things I would do different if I were, if it was back then. Now, I honestly, I, as bad as some points were, I wouldn't want to change anything because then it would change who I am today. Okay, I know. Okay, and the, and the last one. Uh, I would like that, that you give us a little advice for younger people, mm -hmm. for people who begin, uh, who have little problems, uh, for, for not uh, make the, the same mistakes that you have. Yeah. Oh, what I said earlier, um, for younger players, um, the best thing you can do, in my experience, is improve basketball, your game, your skills, all the way around, everything. If you're, you know, a big, try to learn what the, the guards do. If you're a guard, try to learn how the posts move and play. Um, and... Try to excel at one thing, but have an understanding of everything. Okay. And then for people that are 
struggling and need motivation. The one quote that got me through a lot was after I decided to come back and play was most people give up because they see how far they have to go, but they forget how far they've already come. Okay. So, Robert, thank you so much for the thank interview you. and good luck for, for this season.